I agree with what John was saying earlier that uh, design intelligence like, uh, is not necessarily a technological thing, but yeah. it is truly having some kind of critical capacity. And so I hope, it, at least in our work, that it doesn't come across as technophilia for technophilia's <laughs> sake, um, but that these things are testing the relationship between material and immateriality simultaneously um, so that you know, we can think about our constructed environment. You know, yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, is that do you, is your, your approach to materials? I mean, it seems to me that one, one thing that I see in the work on your website is an approach towards material that, that unsettles the conventional way we think of materials as building materials. You're building with light, in a sense, or you're building the, sen the culture of the sensor, the, 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 the backgrounded computational bias is brought forward based on performance and event. I mean, do you feel, do you feel that changes, changes the game, so to speak, relative to materials for the architect to engage digital culture in that Well, way? I think that, interestingly enough, like all these things are embedded in our built environment. So like the, you know, door opens, you know, and right. we trip the sensor or the faucet like lets out water, et cetera. But I think that, those aspects of architecture are not, um, they're, they're like utilitarian and they're just incorporated as products in our architecture. Like architects aren't necessarily engaging them the way they're still engaging the brick, per se. Right. And I think that it's worth engaging those things. So. Uh -huh. so that's a whole new set of actors in a way that, if, if, if you told the story of Willie, yeah. The tile, right, right. The, yeah. the tile, the tile guy, yeah. <laughs> there's a there's a whole new set of willies out oh, there, right? In the every whole, field, yeah, every field. That get somehow brought into the staging of the of, of, of you know of the effect of the architecture. No, I think that's true. I think that you know there was. I think it's modernism's to blame. I think like there was a moment, and Sheila Kennedy talks about it much more eloquently than I when, you know, they made the hollow wall and somehow all the electrical infrastructure yeah. was <laughs> hidden in the hollow wall. But prior to then, like, the aspect of lighting and controlling the lighting and, like, the early uh, incorporation of electricity into architecture was actually a pretty, like, strange uh, uh, conundrum that designers took on, architects took that yeah. on. And now it's like, oh, how can you make the most clean RCP possible? <laughs> I mean, not all. I mean, a right. lot of architects, right. of course, are dealing with daylighting and, and artificial lighting, et cetera. But I think that I think there was a moment where certain things were taken out of our discipline. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, it's not that I'm actively seeking to recuperate them, but I think that there are just lots of things that uh, architects can take on that Maybe it's overwhelming, like just to just to make good space is so right. challenging. Yeah. But because we haven't been given that many opportunities to make buildings, we've found um, other ways of making environments.